Here it is. Be quiet here. Do I have time to go to the bathroom? I do. go dude oh starting no Just one man who gives a flower. Hey, a friend will never leave you stuck. Now, who can that friend? <laughs> it's been a while, but now we can finally show you Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. <laughs> yes! Well, let's go! Smithing was so fun in the first game. I liked it. I always dreamt of leaving this place. Becoming more than a peasant. You know the trouble with an adventurous life? Oh. It can end before it gets started. Congratulations tonight. You finally become a man. Oh, wake, wake up. up. Pull yourself together, Henry. Oh, no 
nobody. He's going up a bit. On a platter. To men like you and me. You still have a long way to go till your work is done. Oh. Guns. Early rifles, I guess. Oh, merciful God, be kind and protect us so we don't blow our arses off. Amen. Damn, that track bangs. Hello and welcome. My name's Tom McKay, and together with Luke Dale, we're here to present the first in-depth look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 an action RPG set in a realistic world of the late Middle Ages. We're in Kuttenberg, a gorgeous city at the heart of Europe, but also at the heart of KCD2. Wow. So let's take you into the world of the game with the help of Warhorse, the creators of this medieval saga. It's almost exactly 10 years since I was doing a video like this, uh, introducing our new game. It's almost exactly six years since this game called Kingdom Come Deliverance was finally released. Oh, was that six so years ago? So now it's a perfect opportunity to show you what we have been working on those six years, which is Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. And where else to do it than in this magnificent cathedral in the royal city of Gutenberg, where majority of this game takes place. Back then, 10 years ago, at the beginning, it was only 11 of us in a small office. Now it's 250 people working very hard for years to bring you the ultimate medieval RPG adventure. Wait, they were Kingdom 11? Kingdom Two follows the adventures of Henry, a young lad who barely survives the invasion of a raiding force on his village. Henry embarks on a quest of revenge against those who butchered his family From Mafia One. and burned his home Jeez. to the ground. As a trusted squire and friend to young Sir Hans, our hero Henry is sent on a simple mission, but things turn ugly very soon. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is a continuation of Henry's previous adventures, but the story's written in such a way that it's perfect for newcomers to Henry's journey. Henry is a character Gotta play the first one, though, it's so good. With because he starts off as a kind of nobody and goes through life with all these immense challenges. And I, th I feel like everybody can relate to that. Hans is all the kind of fun times and all the kind of ebullience and joy that Henry has in himself, but it takes a bit of accessing, and I think Hen Hans really helps him to do that. Whew. You were right about our stench. <laughs> Let's hope this water isn't too cold. You wouldn't want your pride and joy shrinking. <laughs> I'm more worried about it being too deep. Come on. What we are making now is what it was supposed to be in the beginning, but we were not able to do it because we didn't have enough resources and experience and all, all that stuff. We've proven that the concept works, and now we can take it to another level, which we always wanted. The game is much bigger in scope. Original game, we had, I don't know, three hours of cutscenes. Now we have more than five. Regarding the size of the world, it's two times bigger than it was. The story is longer and much more epic, so previously it was about an issues of small nobility with bandits in their villages. Now it's uh, about problems of kings. This is a behemoth of a game in comparison to the first, in my opinion. I think it's, I think it's got so much more energy and pace and adventure and action and fun and, and trial and tribulation and just everything that you could want from setting up the characters so beautifully in the first game and then throwing them out there and going, right, let's see what you're made of. This is gonna be so much fun. Henry is a young guy, so he's not really like so deeply entrenched in his already, you know, set character traits. So you can build your Henry in a different ways. And that all means that it's actually on you who you want to be. You can save the world, or you can help to punish it for its sins. The combat is also historically accurate, but we don't want to do that for the historical reasons of something. 
We want to do that for the immersion. And we want you to feel salt in your hands. We want you to feel threatened by the enemies on the battlefield. We want you to fight for your life. I as far as, it was like that uh, in the first missile one. Missile weapons go, we added new type of weapon. We added crossbows. Also, some early firearms. <laughs> Kingdom Come feels like the good old school RPGs. Nice. It will always surprise you what you can and cannot do. You know, you can be better in combat. You can be a sweet talking guy who talks his way out of problems. You can be a charming knight. You can be a thief, you know, a scoundrel. Anything you do will be recorded. People will remember it. If they saw you do that, our crime <sighs> system will react to that. For example, when you are, I don't know, drunk and naked, people comment on that on the street. And now you can also reply. You can tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Or you can tell them, uh, piss off, man. If you do a lot of criminal stuff around the village, people will start to be suspicious. They will greet you differently. So try to make these little things collapse into a greater mosaic where your actions are really reflected. It will always surprise you what can be done in Kingdom Come. Oh, the alchemy system! Surely they yeah, keep that. moving to different places, so one map is taking place on the actual place that's called Bohemian Paradise. And it's really a beautiful nature with uh, quite unusual rocky formations all around. And then we are moving to a totally different, rather urban countryside surrounding huge silver mining, very rich city. So there's this big city. The Kuttenberg is a huge step forward for us and it was, I would say, biggest challenge in the game. Because uh, from those small outskirts and uh, small cities, you are really getting in the one of the richest cities in the medieval Europe. And it's really big. It's even too big, in my opinion. <laughs> we are trying to go beyond that usual uh, muddy, dirty medieval world, dark ages where everyone is dying uh, from famine and war. It was really like colorful, like uh, it wasn't dark at all. Well, we have really beautiful environments, like players should go and explore all those like little woods and beautiful rocks and castles. I hope we have AV1 AV encoding for this. Just wandering around because the nature is really beautiful. It's, it's really serene, peaceful, and it's full of secrets. A killer score. The music. Oh, music. Is big part of the game. Jan Valta is the composer as with the first game because nice. I think he's awesome, he's genius. First game is really good soundtrack.
this game you can experience something you cannot experience anywhere else. I think players will be really impressed by that. <laughs> My message to the fans would be you are in for a ride. Thank you for all your support. Please follow us on our journey to create something unique. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 will be released by the end of this year. Hey, okay. Nice. Coming 2024. Oh, you can wishlist this now. Whew. Banger. Someone said the first game is actually five bucks on Steam now. That is a steal. That is a steal. Hey, you. God. Is it five bucks? Hey, you. What is this? Oh, this is from the first hey, game. You. Nice. All right. <laughs> Damn. Five bucks, chat. Get it. Hey, all right. You. Get it. Okay. <laughs> it's six. Oh, all right. <sighs> Another victim. Good stuff. The first game is incredible. It is very, very, very good. Whew. All righty then. I came. <laughs> Oh man, it comes out this year too. Ooh. Nice, dude. Nice. Ooh. No, 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 no. Surely it doesn't get delayed, yeah. Hopefully not. Oh hey, fuck. You... Alright, back 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 to Norris for the wicked. Damn. Remember when you had to start your playthrough over? What? Uh, I was too busy picking flowers, I think. <laughs> I need a smoke after that. Yeah, I failed the tutorial because I was too busy picking flowers. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, yeah. God, this game is fun. So many fun and dumb things you can do. Yeah. <laughs> and then I had to start a new game. <laughs> I didn't save, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, fucking A. Hey, what the fuck? You footpad! Help! Arrest that thing! Shh. What? Hey, you. What the fuck was that? Shit! <laughs> okay, I surrender, I surrender, I surrender! Ah, oh, fuck! All right. I surrender! Got you! And now I'll fix you good and proper. <laughs> You'll soon learn what justice means. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the, the fucking look he does. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I do? We we won. We won, dude. We won. Unless he gets some insane god luck now, it's over. Oh yeah, this was fucking ridiculous. Oh, and my luck fucking oh, no. amazing! And then he did it again, right? Yeah. Are you serious? How does this happen? <laughs> did I alt F4? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> Bounty. Stop or right cosplay. You are. You for the house. A Wait, what? You're what are you doing? What? Die. What did I do? What? I don't remember why I was caught there. Fucking hell. No, that was the double or nothing. A hundred subs you had to pay up. Oh, yeah. Was that this one? Three, two, one. Yes! Okay! And then I busted on this! Lord, no! No! 
Oh, yeah, it's dude. What are the odds of this? <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Three, two, one. Is that when I had to gift a bunch of subs because I lost? Yes. Okay. <gasps> two hundred. It was two hundred. Yeah. Lord, no. No. <laughs> Fuck you, mate. Uh, yeah, that's 200, yeah. But all my clips are of, of dice play. <laughs> oh my god. Destruction, dude. Destruction. <laughs> Look at that, dude. That's nasty. That's nasty. The curva. <laughs> the curva. Oh, we're good, dude. We're good. <laughs> that was a juicy nasty. curva, dude. That's nasty. Curva. <laughs> Holy shit. Ugh. Yo, uh, shit, water is next door. Thank you, dude. Thank you. God, that was fun. No, you can't ride now, Chris Chocolate. No. It interrupts where the other streamers lies. That's why. Fell for it. What is this? I don't think you have a choice, oh my Master God. Oda. People, there's a corpse here. <laughs> I don't think you uh, have He played me good there, dude. <laughs> Have a choice, oh Master God. Oda. People, there's a corpse <laughs> here. <laughs> nice. Oh man, God. I think my uh, second playthrough you. of this game I played, I did was one of my favorite things I've done on stream in terms of playthroughs. That was it was so fucking so fun. Kingdom come in polish till Stella Blade. Hey, you! Quiet! <laughs> this guy is still doing this? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the guy that lays next to the bed. <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> oh, man, this game is awesome. Oh, who's this? You'll never take me alive. Uh, shame I can't. Sleep. What? <laughs> You'll never take me alive. Uh, shame I can't. Sleep. What? <laughs> oh man. Uh, was this my second? Yeah, this was my second playthrough. Cause it's this place, the uh, the corridor. <laughs> Fucking a. Oh. That was a, the second playthrough was a menace, dude. What is this? Did you see clip? Of this? I don't wanna rush it. Uh, oh, he's trying to riz? When you say the two of us, it gives me goosebumps. Sorry, but <laughs> I, I don't know. know anything more. I'm not the right <laughs> kind of fella for a mill mate. No! What do you mean you don't want anything more? Am I only good for a role in No! Life? What? I, that's not what I meant! <laughs> At least now I know what you really like. Uh, I'll take care of my own laundry, even if it's no. <laughs> El Rizia. I know. Teresa, 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 Teresa. I told you to get lost. Yeah, no. it's over. No. It's no, over. no, 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 no. I guess unless you reload, I guess. Yeah. I'll play it again. Do you think Henry and Hans will have a bonding moment where Hans teaches Henry to swim gauge? I hope so. I hope so. I do. No! I I'm sorry, Teresa! My New Year resolution? What is this? I don't wash myself. And uh, I'm being rude to people. And eventually I'm going to kill people in their sleep. But I'm talking in game, dude. <laughs> I'm talking in game. I was cosplaying like a troglodyte. I don't wash myself. A role playing, and, I mean. And uh, I'm being rude to people, and eventually I'm gonna kill people in their sleep. Yeah. All right. Oh man, this game is gonna be great. I hope. Cause now they 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 probably hope they probably learned so much from the first time they played. I mean, played from from the first game they made. They probably learned a bunch. So, oh man. Dude, I got legit and like an adrenaline kick when I when I stood um when I stood in the doorway and just smashing him. It felt great. Ah! Yeah, true though, it does. 
Dude, I got legit like an adrenaline kick when I when I stood um when I <laughs> Dang. Wait, this is Bavarian's character. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I murdered him this time. I murdered everyone in this playthrough, dude. Remember, what was that? There was a town. I just killed every single person in the town. That was fun. There was actually no one alive. But none of them could find out as much as you. Oh, yeah. And I did it right. Wait. Yeah, I did it right before this cutscene, yeah. None of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal <laughs> with them. Yes, sir. Ah. Uh, sir. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, <laughs> what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? And then right before this cutscene, I just slaughtered a village <laughs> with my mace. Slaughter and revenge <laughs> over and over. Why does God allow such things? That's great. It's great, dude. Ah. Hmm? That's nice. What is this? Uh, Ludo Avocado, thanks for the 39. Thank you, dude. <clears throat> hey, you. This your husband? She just quietly walks out. Poor gal, dude. Th this is him? <laughs> Help! Oh, oh. Over there! Help! Oh yeah, it's this village. Right, I remember. Now <laughs> tell Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> Jesus. God. Oh, rough. Yeah. Absolute psychopath in this one. Okay, um...